Welcome to the Sura Grade E course by Mason Training. On completion of this course you will graduate as a patrol officer. Course has 13 modules that we shall be covering as we progress one module at a time and you will be completing this course in 5 days. After every module you will have a practice test to complete before you progress to the next module. Module 1. Personal Hygiene and General Appearance. The aim of this module is to stress the importance of the prevention and control of diseases among members and individuals of the workforce. For the maintenance and preservation of health and physical fitness. Personal hygiene includes health rules that a person should adhere to in order to keep fit and healthy. The aim is absolute cleanliness, and keeping ourselves clean, we remove germs, which may cause disease. We shall be covering the various things in this module like The importance of personal cleanliness Skin care Personal habits Nails and hygiene Spiting and behave hour in public especially now the times of the pandemic Care for your feet How to take of your teeth How to keep your head neat The importance of exercise How you have to keep your clothing neat the importance of fresh air. Your mind and habits and how it affects you. Smoking and its effect to others. How to rest well. How to keep your socks and its important ants. The importance of sleep and how to care for your food. What is personal hygiene? Personal hygiene is how you care for your body. This practice includes bathing. Washing your hands, brushing your teeth, and more. Every day you come into contact with millions of outside germs and viruses. They can linger on your body. And in some cases, they may make you sick. Personal hygiene practices can help you and the people around you prevent illnesses. Personal hygiene help you feel good about your appearance. Why is personal hygiene important? Good personal hygiene can benefit both physical and mental health. Good personal hygiene involves keeping all parts of the external body clean and healthy. It is important for maintaining both physical and mental health. In people with poor personal hygiene, the body provides an ideal environment for germs to grow, leaving it vulnerable to infection. On a social level, people may avoid a person with poor personal hygiene which may result in isolation and loneliness and the first body part we are going to talk about is skin hygiene. Your skin is a natural barrier against abrasion, chemicals, and pathogens. Proper skin hygiene is the best way to keep your skin healthy. Removing dead cells, dirt and microbes from the surface of the skin is key to good hygiene. At the same time, it is important to maintain the natural fats and oils in the outer skin layer. The skin needs both moisture, fats and oils to maintain the stratum corneum layer and its protective barrier function. Skin also needs a healthy mix of resident microbes to protect it from attack by disease-causing pathogens. Overly harsh and frequent skin cleansing can strip the resident microbes and allow disease-causing pathogens to multiply. Reducing your stress levels Eating a balanced healthy diet, minimizing dry weather and exposure to ultraviolet radiation can also help maintain skin health. I know you are wondering how you should clean your skin. Remove daily dirt and grime by washing with mild soaps and cleansers. For effective hand washing, be sure to wash at least 10 to 15 seconds. Avoid harsh scrubbing actions. Choose skin cleansers that contain moisturizers and emollients with mild surface active agents and that are not overly acidic or alkaline. Avoid harsh soaps and detergents because they can remove skin oils and fats, and strip protective layers. Use lukewarm water to wash your hands because using hot water can over dry and damage skin and also be sure to rinse your skin well after washing. Dry your hands and skin thoroughly. Pat skin dry, do not rub. 
Select skincare products carefully because many over-the-counter lotions and creams have fragrances or preservatives that can irritate your skin or worsen your allergy symptoms. Habits Hands should be washed before meals or before handling food. Infecting food with dirty hands can cause several diseases. It is advisable to shower or bathe daily. Using soap and water to rinse away dead skin cells. Oil And bacteria you should pay special attention to areas that accumulate more sweat. Such as the armpits. In between the toes. And the groin area. Nails. Nails should be kept short and clean. Apart from the fact that dirty and long nails look unsightly. Millions of germs can be carried in them. Using sanitized tools to trim the nails and keep them short is one of the best ways to ensure that no dirt can collect underneath them. Scrubbing the underside of the nails with a nail brush should form part of a person's hand washing routine. Hand washing. 5 simple steps for effective hand washing. Wet the hands with clean running water then turn off the tap and apply soap. Lather the hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Remembering to reach the backs of the hands. Between the fingers. And under the nails. Scrub the hands for at least 20 seconds which a person can time by humming the happy birthday song twice. Rinse the hands well under clean. Running water. Dry the hands using a clean towel or air dry them. Care for teeth. You cannot expect to stay clean and healthy unless your teeth and quills are healthy. Teeth should be brushed at least twice a day. For a healthy mouth and smile it's recommend brushing the teeth for two minutes at least twice a day once before breakfast and once before bed. People should use an accepted fluoride toothpaste and replace the toothbrush every 3 to 4 months. They also advise people to floss daily. Head look and clean shaving. Hair should be kept clean and short. The use of hair creams and grease blocks the pores of the skin and prevents the removal of waste products. You should look neat on the head to create a great image of your employer and self. Failure to keep head hygiene will get you head lice. A parasitic insect that can be found on the head and neck and survive by feeding on human blood. Lice are spread most commonly by close person-to-person -person contact. Avoid head-to-head, hair-to-hair, contact during play and other activities like sports activities, playground, slumber parties, camp. Never share clothing such as hats, scarves, coats, sports uniforms, hair ribbons, or barrettes. Never share combs, brushes, or towels. Clothing Wear clean clothes every day. Dirty and smelly clothes are unpleasant and unhealthy. Why is it important to wear clean clothes? Dirty clothes can harbor microorganisms, and can lead to skin infections. Bad body odor can occur wearing clothes with the bacteria and fungi found on them. Everyone has bacteria inside and outside the body. Clothes capture the bacteria, and it is risky to wear them again without washing. Dirty underwear has additional problems. Like more traces of germs from body fluids and residues of defecation. Which makes an infection more likely if worn again without washing. The only way to prevent the spread of germs found on clothes from normal wear is to wash them. And it is important to wash hands after contact with dirty laundry. Mind and Habits a clean mind and clean thoughts are essential if you really wish to keen yourself clean. Helpful tips for creating a hygiene routine include the following. Make it a habit. With daily practice, a new habit can become a regular part of life. Choose one area to focus on and practice until it becomes second nature. Set reminders. Using the Notes app on a cell phone can be a great way to avoid forgetting any tasks. Invest in nice toiletries. Using products that smell good may encourage some people to stick to their personal hygiene routine. Smoking. It is harmful for people undergoing training. Do not throw your cigarette butts everywhere. Socks. Woolen socks are the best, because it is more porous and allow more fresh air to reach the skin. Which means they don't have to be washed every time you wear them. Indeed. They can be worn multiple times before washing.
Because of their physical nature, wool fibers naturally have antibacterial properties and are, therefore, odor resistant. Unlike cotton, wool is a great insulator. When it's cold out your feet will be toasty and warm in your wool socks. Wool can absorb a high amount of moisture much more than cotton. Wool can actually hold a third of its weight in moisture before it even starts to feel wet. Wool keeps its insulating properties while wet, which is perfect for sweaty feet. Not only that, but wool also quickly dries much more than cotton or other synthetics. Fresh air. The spreading of infection through breathing, sneezing, talking, etc., is called droplet infection and can be prevented by good ventilation. Don't overcrowd. Use handkerchief in front of mouth when coughing or sneezing. Benefits of fresh air. It helps clear your lungs. It can give you more energy and mental focus. It lowers blood pressure and heart rate. It helps you heal faster. It can improve your digestion. Food and care of food. Keeping surfaces clean and tidy is a vital part of preventing the spread of pathogens. Some germs can live for months outside the human body. Which means they need to be eradicated as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. Once the preparation of food has taken place, you, you still need to ensure it's cooked properly. There's a temptation just to put everything in the oven at the same temperature. But, if there are specific instructions for each food item, you need to follow them carefully. Food poisoning is a major problem in busy kitchens. Where healthy and safety measures can easily be forgotten. In most cases, bacteria is spread via poorly cleaned hands and utensils. Health and safety don't end once you dish out your meals. Good food handling practices require you to safely store any leftover produce you may have. Spitting. It is a filthy habit and should be avoided. It is one of the causes of spreading tuberculosis. In some cultures it is unacceptable to spit. Spitting contains saliva which can transmit diseases that are carried in droplets or in air. Dose and don'ts. Many people spit onto the ground and this is not good practice as sometimes they may wipe their mouth with their hand. This is not good practice because Afterwards, you can still transmit germs by touching things or shaking the hands of other people. The best option during an outbreak is to stop spitting onto the ground. Spit it into a tissue and then dispose of correctly into a waste container with a lid on it followed by washing your hands with soap and water. Exercise of the voluntary muscles has an important bearing on the health and may be in the form of work, walking, climbing, running, or sport activity. Exercise Benefits Exercise Controls Weight Exercise combats health conditions and diseases. Exercise improves mood. Exercise boosts energy. Exercise promotes better sleep. Exercise puts the spark back into your sex life. Sleep is the only form of complete rest to the whole body. It is necessary for the repair of both mental and physical tissues. Benefits of good sleep. Productivity and concentration. Managing weight. Calorie regulation. Athletic performance. Healthy heart. Social and emotional intelligence. Depression. Inflammation. Immune system. Personal hygiene is very important when on duty and when off duty. A person that is clean and tidy at all time will always portray a good image of him slash herself. This marks the end of Module 1. Personal Hygiene and General Appearance We have an exercise below that you have to complete before you move to the next module.